Biggest Cruise Ships in the World Ada Nova The Ada Nova is a huge cruise ship that is widely praised as being the first of its kind to operate completely on liquefied natural gas. Given the Ada Nova's size, this accomplishment is twice as impressive as lots of power is needed to move the 183,858-ton beast. The ship is 337 meters long, it rises 69 meters above water level, and costs a whopping $1.1 billion to build. The new technology caused several delays in the ship's launch, however. Her sea trials and maiden voyage had to be pushed back several months due to complications and a fire that broke out on board. However, once it was finally launched in 2018, there was no looking back. Up to 6,654 passengers enjoy cruising along the Mediterranean on the Grand Ship, and they are served by a crew of 1,646 members. There are over 2,600 cabins for guests to choose from, including 31 purpose-built suites. When it comes to food and drink, passengers are spoiled for choice. There are 17 restaurants, including 6 a la carte, 5 specialty restaurants, and 5 buffet restaurants. Meanwhile, 23 bars provide a wide range of refreshing drinks, coffee specialities, and cocktails. Childcare services and entertainment facilities such as Kids Club and Beach Club are available and you can relax at a stunning luxury day spa while the cocktails take effect. The spa spans over 3,545 square meters, spread across two decks and provides amazing sea views. It features five different saunas, two private wellness suites, and a tepidarium. The Ada Nova has two sister ships, scheduled for delivery in 2021 and 2023, so keep an eye out for those. Costa Semerelda The largest ship of the Costa Cruise Line Company is the $950 million Costa Semerelda. It is presented as a symbol of beauty, style, and Italian hospitality. It is also an impressive feat of engineering. The ship is 337 meters long and 42 meters at its widest point. Out of respect for the environment and passion for the sea, the Costa Semeralda uses new and more efficient propulsion technology. As a result, though, its speed is slightly less than other cruise ships, with the Semeralda operating at a maximum of just 21.5 knots. Up to 6,554 guests are invited to an Italian experience of shopping, drinking, and delicious cuisine. You will feel like you are strolling through the streets of Italy with the added bonus of a glorious sea view. You can even take part in the action by signing up to cookery classes taught by professional chefs, for an added fee, of course. There is something to offer for all ages. While there's plenty of culture and elegant design to appreciate, there are also silent discos and virtual bands for music lovers to enjoy. If you have small children aged between 1 and 3, you can drop them off at the Under 3 Mini Club, They'll be well looked after, and so will you by the 1,646 crew members. If you're a fan of Europe and a Mediterranean lifestyle, then this cruise is a must. Oasis of the Seas and Allure of the Seas Oasis of the Seas and Allure of the Seas are extremely similar in their build and were launched by Royal Caribbean in 2009 and 2010, respectively. The Oasis cost $1.4 billion to construct, whereas the Allure cost $1.5 billion. Both ships are 360 meters long, 60.5 meters wide, and 72 meters high above the waterline. They each have a maximum passenger capacity of 6,780. The Oasis has a slightly higher gross tonnage now, thanks to additional cabins being added as recently as 2019. But the two cruise ships practically started off as twins. In terms of the facilities on board, both have their own unique claims to fame though. The Oasis introduced many amenities that would come to feature in later models, such as an outdoor aqua theater and an open-air corridor that is carved out along the lengths of the vessel. It also saw the addition of a glass-covered solarium with a pool and provides many activities that promote fitness. Passengers can swim, play volleyball or basketball on one of the numerous courts. Alternatively, they can take part in more extreme sports like zip lining or rock climbing. Meanwhile, the Allure has more of the focus on shopping, dining and relaxation. It was the first ship to feature a Starbucks coffee shop at sea 
and has no less than 25 dining options. A concierge club offers the ultimate convenience and guests have access to a state-of-the-art fitness center where they can take lessons in yoga or tai chi. A luxurious two-deck dance hall and a 